In this video, we're presented with two coils arranged face to face, and coil A is suddenly connected to a power source and current begins to flow in it. And that current is going up the face that's nearest to us. So in part A, we're asked, what's the direction of magnetic field produced through the interior of coil A? And then the rest of the questions concern what is induced in the second coil. We'll get to those in just a moment. So we apply the Ampere's Law right hand rule, put our thumb in the direction of current, our fingers of our right hand loop around through the coil in the direction of the magnetic field. So this coil that's just been turned on has a magnetic field going through its interior in this direction, and I'll call that BA. And that's not constrained to just right inside that coil. That extends around the coil as a magnetic dipole field, and it will fringe at the edges and on the other side as well. And this is where we see why this is inducing a current in the second coil. As soon as we turn on coil A, we have a bunch of new leftward pointing magnetic field going through coil B. Coil B is going to react to that according to Linz's law by inducing a magnetic field in the opposite direction, attempting to maintain that original field of zero that we had before we turned on coil A. So this is B induced in coil B. That answers part B of the question. Finally, we want to get the direction of the induced current in coil B that's induced in order to create a field that's fighting the change in flux through the coil. So what kind of current do we need to produce a rightward magnetic field? We just do a little bit of guessing and checking with the Ampere's Law right-hand rule. And if I put my thumb in the upward direction on the near face, well, that would produce a leftward pointing induced field, and that's not what I want, so it must be the other way. And I put my thumb in the downward direction, coil the fingers of my right hand around, and that does indeed produce a rightward pointing induced magnetic field. The direction of my current is down the near face, up the far face, and it's going to be the opposite of the direction of current running in the original coil. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.